certified truth tv hit the like button subscribe to the channel sign up for the website it's absolutely free we are back round two let's talk about it man All right, all right, all right. We are back, man. Let's talk about it. Subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment and please share these streams. And uh, let's talk about the situation. Um, and by the way, they want Trudeau to step down. I think he probably will. But that's a topic for another day. NYC mom, Alex Alexandra Wiquette. And her two sons killed in a delete and a deletion, right? Murder, suicide by a father who feared losing his job as a superintendent days before massacre. A uh, boy so badly brutalized cops thought he was a girl. This coward's name is Edson Lopez, 41, is believed to have stabbed his wife and their two sons, Calvin, one, Lucien, three before turning a knife on himself. These are the cowards and bozos of society, man. I've been talking about this for a long time. And uh, it's really dangerous. Very dangerous. The Upper West Side Super was described as a nice guy by neighbors who said his wife was a dotting mother. All right? A father uh, suspected of killing his wife and two young children in a murder, suicide, deletion, or being deleted, in their swanky Manhattan apartment, has recently told friends of his joy at the birth of his second son. Edson Lopez, 41, is believed to have stabbed his wife, Alexander Wicket, uh, 40, and their two sons. Okay, I already read that. The apartment is, uh, this happened on the fourth floor apartment at 328 West 86th Street. Our breaking photos show the loving mother cuddling her two children in a picture posted in January. Lobos was the best man at the wedding about 11 years ago. And Alfonso Barrera, father of the grooming Luis, Luis, shared a photo of the super. He was a superintendent, I guess, at the ceremony. Uh, Alfonso, 84, was visited the apartment on Tuesday morning to pay tribute and, and said, my son called me and said, did you hear what happened? My son could not sleep last night. He was crying and crying. Edson was a nice fellow and a part of my family. Everybody thought he was, uh, yeah, he was uh, brothers with my son. And his wife was a nice girl, beautiful, very nice. So then what happened? You mean to tell me that this guy 
potentially could be losing his job until he kills his his wife and two of his kids and himself makes no sense. These are cowards, man. Their mentality is not built for what's going on. They're cognitive, cognitively deteriorating every single day. They're not built for it. You have to have a strong mentality to be built for what is going on so you don't lose your marbles. Okay? So we got the this is the this happened a couple days ago. I'm going to play you guys the video and the and the reaction to it. All right? Like this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. We're all older. Why are we doing this to each other? We're pretty much like each other. This guy attacked his family. Why would anyone go, go there and, and literally do this to their wife and kids? What's up, Turan? Yeah, another story. That's amazing, isn't it? This is why I come on my show now and I read the stories and I do the dating app content and that's it. You take what you take from what I'm saying. YouTube is supposed to make you think different, man. I think different. My I can change my ideas. You know? Like, husband of... Like, look at how many stories I've done. It's so crazy. It just popped up. Right? Like, it's the craziest thing, man. Let me say this. Rest in peace to... Uh, rest in peace to uh, Alexandria. And rest in peace to her, two, uh, her... You know, their two sons. The guy, I don't give a fuck about. It's like Slug Lord. I don't care about you. You're you're meaningless. You're you're irrelevant. All right, you're irrelevant. All right, you just say whatever, do whatever, and think that there's no consequences. I'm looking for the video here, and it's like nothing here. So I played that. I played that. Oh, let's put his name in. You know what I'm saying? I know times is tough, but I'm not I'm not doing this to my I'm not doing this to none of my family. Uh okay, here it is here. I found it. Anyway, today is your lucky day. I'm about to transform you into my next success story. And no, I don't want anything in return. Yeah, I never Okay, so let's put this on. I can put on normal levels. Normal levels. That's good there. Let's turn the 720p. This bigger. Yeah, man. That's it, bro. You think, bro, we don't, bro, as a collective, as us, we don't have to do this to our families because we know the truth. <laughs> now, if the guy pro if the guy was listening to my content, he probably would be more self-aware. Like how that lady is self-aware. Like I'm self-aware, like Terran self-aware, like indigenous Afro is self-aware, right? Like this is what I'm saying, right? Like I, I totally destroyed their narrative. I can, I destroyed their, their complex weapon system, right? I literally destroyed their complex weapon system. Like I destroyed it. Like it's so crazy. Uh, hold on. Let me turn the camera. So it's. Oh, it's not even on? What the... F Hold on, let's remove that. Quit this one. Okay, there it is there. It's popping back up. But I destroyed I destroy their complex weapon system. That's what this whole shit is now. Told you, you guys should save as much money. That's what I'm trying to do. And if you guys donate to me, it's going to go into the Certified Truth Family's pot. You get what I'm saying? And as it builds up, we will uh, host an event or something like that. That's the plan anyway. But it's going to take time to get there because we're all in different areas of the world. And where we're, we're like, like-minded, we need to connect more with each other. You know, if you want to send, if you want to, if you want to send me an email, you can send me an email or you can talk to me on the community tab too. And we could do a one-on-one. -on -one. All right, we can do a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see what I'm going to do here. Let's try that. No, that's not what I want. It doesn't matter. I'll do it this way. Yeah, I might have to do it this way.
Oh, it doesn't matter. It's good. All right. I got to, you know, it's just crazy, bro. All right. Here's the story here. Tonight, a community is in shock and police are trying to figure out what happened inside an apartment that left a family of four dead. Police investigating this as a possible murder-suicide. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live at the scene now. Ali. Maurice and Christine, we've been talking to residents out here all night and everyone is just heartbroken and perplexed. The father who died grew up in this building. He was a super here and his father was the super before him. Neighbors describe him as a doting family man and it seems nobody can imagine what went wrong an historic upper west side co-op the scene of what investigators believe to be a gruesome murder suicide a lot of tears and a lot of gasping well, everybody is freaking out police were called to the building on west 86th street off riverside drive around 3 p.m monday by the father of the building super sources tell us he was trying to get a hold of his 41 year old son the super's dad knocked at his one bedroom apartment and when no one answered he looked into the peephole and saw his son's 40 year old wife bleeding on the floor. Police arrived to find the couple, along with their three and one year old sons, all dead. Each had been stabbed. They were adorable. They were babies. Investigators found kitchen knives at the scene and saw no signs of a break in. He's like a really just decent human being. He's like a n nice guy. So I have no idea what could possibly. Happened. Residents tell us the super moved into this building decades ago at just 10 years old when his father was the super. Known him since he was a little boy and used to play stickball with the kid who is now a, a nighttime super in the corner building. Philip Caggiano bumped into him the other day. And I thought, oh, isn't it great to live on our street with this happy family? This is heartbreaking, just heartbreaking. The young family was getting ready to move to Westchester, where the father had just accepted another job as a super. Because he's outgrown a one bedroom apartment with his family of four. Mm -hmm. And we all we're so happy for him, mm -hmm. just thrilled that he got this upgrade and, you know, lifestyle change and everything. Everybody was really happy. Investigators spent the day trying to figure out exactly what happened, while neighbors spent the day racking their brains to figure out why. This isn't what you expect in this building, in this gorgeous neighborhood, in this very quiet building. And residents tell us the super's last day on the job was supposed to be the end of this month, but the family was planning on staying here until they moved into their new apartment in Westchester in a couple weeks. We're live on the Upper West Side. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Hello, everybody. This is Chuck Carnival. So there you have it, man. Oh, you're always around there? Really? Turan, you're always around that area? Really? Turan, you better be careful, man. You need to be careful where you're going, bro. You have to be careful where you're going. I'm careful where I go, bro. I don't go, bro, I don't go to these clubs and bars and shit like that. If this guy's doing this in this society, I'm not doing, bro, I go to work, I come here, I chill, I cook food, I relax, I eat. I just relax, man. I talk to feminine women, that's it. I'm not going around them. They can't come around me. I don't want their friendship, bro. Because I can, I can see their bullshit. I think you guys can too. And you guys are probably always questioning it. Yeah, it's in New York. New York is one of the most... I, I couldn't live there, man. I live outside of, like, a major city. These cities are dangerous. So uh, what's the next thing? The next thing... Oh, it's trending on uh, Twitter that they want Trudeau to step down. I could show you that. I mean, he probably will. He probably will. I actually... Uh, I actually yeah, yeah. I mean, it's possible that he could step down. Uh, was it you know, newable vaccine injuries, right? But he's probably going to step down, most likely. It's only a matter of time now. His fate is inevitable. I see so many Trudeau, fuck Trudeau's bumper stickers. I put one on. I put one on, and I was like, nah, fuck it. I don't want people to know my political affiliation when I'm moving around. Because if they love Trudeau, then they're going to try to say a bunch of shit. Oh, somebody <laughs> played the George Carlin thing. You know, they don't like Justin Trudeau. I haven't liked D Justin Trudeau since he put on blackface. You said NYC is becoming more deadly? Yes, it is. 
Bro, I know. It's amazing to believe what's going on. I know. It's crazy, right? And the only avenue where we can get together and have conversations is YouTube or Rumble. Outside, people are not talking to each other. So, kind of stuck, man. Uh, let's go back to Daily Mail. But that's the guy there, man. He killed his wife, killed his children because he was scared that he's going to lose his job. If I'm worried about I'm going to lose my job, I'm thinking about how I'm going to keep my job. What what kind of jobs I'm going to go for to to keep moving, right? That's why I said money controls them. Yeah, money controls them. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, I mean, this is another story. I mean, I could shut down right now. I could shut down right now and show you th this story here. Right now, I could do it. <laughs> like, literally. These people are crazy, man. These people are crazy. And they're getting crazier by the day. Right? So, um, maybe, maybe we might do that. Yeah, maybe we might do that. We could talk about her, too. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. This is why I told you a long time ago. These people can't come around me because I can see their bullshit. They're very divisive and they're very ignorant to information. You get what I'm saying? So I just, you know, I stay away. But uh, I'll be back. We'll talk about it. We'll chop it up. Should be later tonight. Probably around like eight o'clock ish, and uh, we'll stream it up. You know, rest in peace to the victims in this story, though. <laughs>